Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBabeCrochet.com, and this is video number two of the Tree of Life Afghan for crocheters. I wanted to show you what we have after the first 16 rows of the tree pattern. This is actually after doing 18 rows, but we're following the numbers on the tree chart. And this is what you should have after those 16 rows of the tree chart. Notice I am using my stitch markers to mark every 48 rows. Okay, one thing you're going to notice is that this is a little bit longer and stretched out more than the single crochet. Okay, I know that sometimes will bother a lot of you. I recently did a crochet along with the um, the chevrons and diamonds afghan, um, which is an afghan with red heart yarns, and I had a lot of people complaining about that. Um, one thing I want to tell you is just to hang in there and just um, let this pattern work itself out in the end. If necessary, this can always be blocked and a lot of this stuff will work itself out. So just be patient with the process and let's go ahead and continue on. We're going to start now with row 17 and I'm going to draw your attention to the written pattern for this portion because I'm, I'm going to show you a, a better picture. Well, actually, let me show you the larger, the larger version of this. And row 17, which is the red row starting right here. I'm going to show row 16 too so that you can see what's happening. Um, as we crochet along, we're still, the X's now are still single crochets. We're going to be crocheting along. And then instead of doing 14, we're going to do 13 single crochets. And then now this here, I wasn't sure what this was in the pattern. So I was able to look it up following the written instructions, which you should have already downloaded. And if you read through row 17, it gives explicit direction as to what you need to do. And this is really nice to have this as a backup when you're really not sure what these mean. But I think once we do a couple of these rows, we won't have to do this um, for a while. Um, so we're going to single crochet in each of the next 13 single crochet. Front post treble around the next post, and this is important, two uh, we're going to front post treble around the next post stitch two rows below, not just one. Then we do four front post double crochets around the next four posts. So these four posts that we're going to be working around, uh, here we go, um, are going to be on the row below. When we do the front post treble, it's going to be two, two rows below. So I just wanted you to see that and that this is going to be a longer stitch. And then we single crochet in the next 12 front post double crochet around the next four posts just like we've been doing and then the next stitch is going to be a front post treble around the same post and, and I'll show you what this means but this is going to be two two rows below like we did on the other this is kind of like a mirror image of what we're going to do across and then single crochet in the next 13 and then it says repeat from the asterisk which is right here repeat two more times Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that if you ever get hung up and not sure, you can always double check with the written pattern. Okay, so let's, now that we have that information, let's take another look at the diagram here. Okay, so here we have single crocheting across, 13 single crochets, and then we're going to do a front post treble, two rows below, and then when we do these four post stitches, we're going to do them just the next row below. Okay, it's just going to attach into that um, front post double crochet. And, and then this will mirror the image back over here. Again, four front post double crochets. And then this is going to be a treble crochet, I'm going to go two rows below. I know this is a lot of verbiage for me to start out with, but I just wanted you to see where we're headed so you have a better understanding. All right, let's go ahead and crochet this. We start the row with a chain one. And then we're going to work 13 single crochets in those single crochets. Okay, now I've done the 13 single crochets and notice that we have one stitch remaining here. And this is where we're going to substitute the front post treble. I wrap my hook twice. Now we're not going to work it in this stitch, 
but in this stitch down here below, which is one, two stitches below. Then we just work that treble. And whenever you work a treble like that, then you skip the next stitch because that way your stitch count stays even. Now we're going to work front post double crochets on the next four stitches, just working them in the next row below, not, not two rows below. Okay, after that, we are going to work 12 single crochets, one in the next, each of the next 12 stitches. Okay, after working those 12 single crochets, we're going to work front post double crochets in each of the next four stitches. Okay, now this is where we do something a little different. Now we work our treble crochet, but we're going to go one, two rows below. Okay, see now we worked this one, this row, so this would, um, we're just going to go two rows below right there, if you can see that. It's easier to see than to try to explain. So that was our treble. Now we're going to skip this single crochet, and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches, and that should take us to our stitch marker. So after working those 13 stitches, that does come out evenly, and that brings me to the stitch marker where I will repeat this two more times. Let me show you what this should look like. So go ahead and repeat that two more times across the row. So I finished out the row, single crochet in the last 13 stitches. This is what each section should look like. And remember to carry those stitch markers with you up each row as you begin and end in those sections. Now we're going to be working row number 18. And I'm going to show a little bit of 17 just so you know how things are going to be hooking into this. Now for row 18, for these sections, I'm looking at the stitches and it looks like they are all um, double crochets, front post double crochets. And we're going to be working from left to right as we read this, but we are going to be working from right to left as we crochet. Of course, the opposite of that for the left-handers. Um, but this is going to have the back side facing. And as we work across, we work 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 single crochets. We're going to have two um, back post double crochets, one connecting in with that treble crochet and the other connecting in with the double crochet here. And then we're going to have yet another back post double connecting in the exact same place as we do those four which form the trunk. And then 12 single crochets, four back post double crochets, and then two more back post double crochets, one hooking in in the same place as that fourth back post double, and then another hooking in to that treble that we crocheted, and then 12 single crochets across to finish out the 48 stitch section, and then that's what we'll repeat three times. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and chain one, and we're going to work 12 or one single crochet in the, each of the next 12 stitches. Now we're going to work a back post double around that treble. So it's going to be a little bit of a reach, but that's okay. Go ahead and do a double back post double. And now this next stitch, we're actually going to work two back post double crochets around it. It might seem a little crowded, but, but that's okay. So it's going to look a little bit like this. I'll show you from the other side in just a minute. And then back post double in the next three stitches as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this may look like from the front side just so that you get a feel for what this should look like. Let's turn it back around with the back side facing. Now after we do that, we're going to work 12 single crochets. After working those 12 single crochets, we're going to work four back post doubles. One, two, three, 
four. Now we're going to work another one around the same place where we just worked that last fourth one. Okay, and then we work one around that treble crochet. And then after that, we are going to skip this next single crochet and we're going to work a single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. Okay, and I've worked my 12 single crochets. Now as a reminder, that last single crochet will be worked in the same place where the stitch marker is. Um, and that's going to be the case when you work with the back side facing. And let's just take a look. This is with one repeat. I just want you to see what this should look like. Okay, so you see in these tree branches starting to come to life and it's okay if they don't look exact because no tree really does look exact and I think this pattern is gonna uh, gonna reflect that in a very nice way. All right, so all you need to do now is repeat that same thing two more times across the row. Now we're gonna begin row 19 and 19, we're gonna have 12 single crochets all the way across. And now these are the connectors down here. These are just one, two, three, four, five, six, front post double crochets and then we're going to have the 12 single crochets across here and then we're going to have six front post doubles here as well and then 12 single crochets all the way to the first stitch marker okay and remember for this um, the stitch marker will actually begin the next set so we're going to do do that and uh, let's go ahead and see what that looks like we'll go ahead and start with our chain one and our single crochet in the first 12 stitches. After those first 12 single crochets, now we do six front post double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're gonna work 12 single crochets. After working those 12 single crochets, now we work six front post doubles. Okay, so that's three, four, five, and six, like that. And the last thing we do for this section that we're going to be repeating is work 12 or one single crochet in the next 12 stitches and this should bring you all the way to the stitch marker. So that is your repeat. Uh, this is row number 19. Okay so go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to start start it the second time to stitch one of the 12. This is with my stitch marker. Make sure that you just continue to to move these stitch markers. I know that's a little bit of a little bit of a hassle, but um, I think it's going to be a hassle that'll be worth your time. Okay, so go ahead and do that two more times across. Now we're ready to look at row number 20, and I'm going to expose row 19 here just so that you see where these hook in. Okay, so for row Number 20, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Sorry, I had to count all that out, but I, I just can't see that just at first glance. I wanted to be exact. 11 single crochets. And then we're going to have two back post double crochets. And make sure you hook them into those back post doubles that are there um, from row 19. And then we're going to have a single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do four more back post double crochets and then we're going to do looks like 12 single crochets and then four back post double crochets a single crochet and then two more back post double crochets all of these hooking in to these stitches and then we're going to do 11 single crochets let's go ahead and do that we'll begin with the chain one and then single crochet in the first 11 stitches. Okay, after working those 11 single crochets, 
we're going to skip this one. Notice that there's one stitch left. We're not going to crochet in that one per se, but we're going to make up for that in just a minute. Uh, we're going to do two back post double crochets working over these post stitches. Now we're going to work a single crochet right in that last post stitch that we just worked. Just work that single crochet right in the top and then four more back post double crochets. Okay, I'm going to turn this around quickly and just show you what that should look like. Okay, so that you have a little bit of confidence to just keep on going here. Now we are going to work 12, um, yeah, 12 single crochets. After crocheting those 12 single crochets in between our trees, now we're going to do four more back post double crochets. These are done around the post stitches. That's one, two, three, four. After we do that, we are going to actually single crochet in the next stitch. That's actually a post stitch. We're going in through the top loops like we did the other one. And then we're going to double dip here. We're going to use this one again. And we're going to back post double around this one. And the next stitch. And after we do that, we are going to skip a stitch here. And we're going to single crochet in the next 11 stitches. And if you're following this the way I'm doing it, you should, well, let's go ahead and get through all the strands there, you should be maintaining your stitch count of 48 across each of these sections. And remember that 12th stitch is in the same place with the stitch marker which I'm going to diligently move right now so that I don't get left behind. Okay, so this is the section. I'm going to go ahead and I'll show it to you from the front side so that you see how these trees are starting to form. Okay, so go ahead and work that across the next two sections. Okay, this row 21 is a little bit tricky. Um, let me start off by saying that these are treble crochets coming down from row 22 and try not to see those as we read across because we're just looking at the red. Okay, we're going to do 10 single crochets, then we're going to do two front post double crochets and they are going to be connecting into these post stitches so those should be easy to do. And then we're going to be doing two single crochets and then we're going to do four front post double crochets and then we're going to do our 12 single crochets just like we've been doing. Um, this is the last row that we're going to do the 12 and then we're going to do four front post double crochets, two single crochets, two front post doubles connecting into these post stitches and then our 10 single crochets. So as we as I you know again read through this with you Try not to look at these just yet. We'll get to those on the next row. Um, so these, this section here is just 12 single crochets in the center. So here we go with row 21 now. Chain one, and we're gonna single crochet in the first 10 stitches. After those 10 single crochets, we are gonna go ahead and do two front post double crochets and then I would skip two stitches, one, two, behind that. And then we're gonna do two single crochets. Okay, so you can see where the tree branches are starting to come out there. Now we're gonna do four front post double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to do 12 single crochets. After working those 12 single crochets, we work a front post double in the next four stitches. This is three, four, and now we work a single crochet in the next two stitches. One will be in a single crochet and one will actually be in a post stitch like this. 
Okay, now we're going to work two front post stitches. We're going to work that post stitch that we just worked in again, but we're going to make up for this in just a second. And we work that stitch. And then we're going to skip two stitches. One, two, and we're going to work single crochets in the next 10 stitches. Make sure that you have 10 stitches between uh, the beginning and your stitch marker. Okay, after this next stitch, after you've complete those two front post doubles, this does get a little tricky, but there's a way you can do this. If you just skip one, two loops that you see behind the two um, works, you can go ahead and do that and start your single crochet here. But also just wanted you to know that you're only gonna be skipping one stitch here to make up for the stitch that's kind of um, used twice over there. Okay, does that make sense? You're gonna see two loops for the two loops that you just created, but you're in actuality only skipping one stitch along the row. Hope that's not confusing. Um, the bottom line is you should have a total of 10 single crochets from this point to here. Okay, so to finish out the first section, you should have 10 single crochets. I'll go ahead and finish this out and check, double check my work here. Because remember, front row facing, the stitch marker begins the new section. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this is what you should have for the first section. This is row 21. So go ahead and repeat that two more times across the row. All right, now we're going to begin row 22. Notice that I'm revealing row 21 and 20 because you're going to be working down as far as row 20, two rows below for some of these uh, trebles that I'm going to talk about. So we're going to do eight single crochets, two back post double crochets, four single crochets, and then four more back post double. And then these, you're going to do two back post trebles connected around the same uh, post stitch, two rows below. And I'll show you how to do that. And then eight single crochets, two more back post double crochets connected around the same place, two rows below on row number 20, and then four back post doubles, four single crochet, two back post double crochet, and then eight single crochets. I know it looks like a lot and it looks complicated, but just if you just hang with me and, and go through this with me one time, you should be fine. And, and I should mention too that um, there are two ways that you can review for the repeats. You can just simply look at what you've just done um, in between your stitch markers, or you could go back and rewind to the point where row 22 or whatever the you know, number of the row begins. So let's go ahead and crochet row 22. We begin by crocheting a chain and single crochet in the first eight stitches. After those eight single crochets, we are going to back post double in the next two post stitches. Now notice that there's a big gap there, but that's okay. Go ahead and do those two back post doubles, connecting them to that branch. Now whenever you do those, make sure that you skip two stitches, one, two, on the back side so that this all lines up. And then we're gonna single crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, so I'm trying to hold this down so that you can see. So skip these two. And then we're going to single crochet in the next four. One, two, and then now I'm working in those single crochets. Three, four, and then now we're going to do four back post double crochets. This is, again, working in those post stitches that have been there for the last 20 plus rows. Okay. Now this is where it gets a little tricky, but it's still very doable. Now for the next two stitches, we're going to do treble crochets, back post treble, and we're going to go one, two stitches below to this stitch right here. And we're going to connect both of these treble crochets in at the same place. Okay, can you see how that looks? I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to connect this to the center. Okay, now we're going to do eight single crochets. So I'm going to have you skip two single crochets on this um, 
right here, one, two, for these two trebles that we just made. And then we're going to crochet eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to turn and I wanted to show you what this looks like before we go further. Okay. So this is the eight single crochet we did. The two back post double. Then we did four single crochet. One, two, three, four. It's in there. Four back post double. And then when we connected this in, we came down, not to this one, but to this one down here to work those two back post trebles and then my eight single crochets. I just want you to see what that looks like. Okay, after I complete those eight single crochets, notice that I'm skipping two here that are that are remaining, and I am going to work those treble crochets two rows down. This is back post treble crochets worked in the same place. Now I'm going to work four back post double crochets. This is on the main part of the, the trunk. After those four back post double crochets, I'm going to work four single crochets. And those last two single crochets are going to be worked in the top of the post stitches and then after that I'm going to work two back post double crochets and I'm going to work them into these stitches one each okay after I work those two stitches I'm going to make sure that I skip the next two single crochets one two on the row and then I'm going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. Let's let's make sure that we have this count correct. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight ending in the stitch mark place. And that's correct. Okay, so let me go ahead and flip this around and show you what row 22 should look like. Okay. So go ahead and repeat that through the next two sections. Now let's take a look at row 23. Again, the red ink, reading it from right to left. Um, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochets, just like the last row. And I'm going to reveal a little bit of row 22 so that you can see what we're connecting into. Then we're going to do two front post double crochets, then four single crochets. And then six, one, two, three, four, five, six front post double crochets all connecting into those post stitches. And then we're going to have our eight single crochets and then connect into six front post double crochets, four single crochets, two front post double crochets connecting in again to those post stitches and then eight single crochets. This looks a little bit easier than the last row we just did, but um, let's go ahead and give it a try. Start the row with a chain one, and we're going to single crochet in the first eight stitches. Now we're going to work two front post double crochets, one in each of the next stitches. It's a little tricky. Gee whiz. There we go. Got it around that stitch. And then after that, we have four single crochets. Don't forget to skip two stitches behind when you do those. Uh, you're not really skipping stitches, but in lieu of, you know, these stitches, you're taking the post stitches. So we just want to make sure we don't work in those. Now we're going to do four single crochets. You can see how that branch is taking shape. Now we are going to have six front post double crochets right in a row. That's three, four, five, and six. 
After that we have eight single crochets. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, and as I'm reading across from right to left, we do the next six front post double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and these are all single crochets that we've worked in. And now front post double crochet in the next two stitches. And then we end this section with eight single crochets. Let's make sure we have all eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is our repeat. Let's take a look and see how these trees are developing. Okay, so that is the repeat. Do that two more times to complete row 23. Now let's take a look at row 24. We're going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets. And I'm going to reveal a little bit of row 23 so that you know where these stitches are going to be worked in. Again, this is with the back side facing. Uh, we're going to do two back post double crochets and make sure that we work them around the um, post from the previous row. And then we have one, two, three, four, five single crochets, four back post doubles, two single crochets, two back post doubles. Again, we're working them into these post stitches, as you'll see. Four single crochets, and then two more back post doubles, working them into the stitches over here, the back post, uh, into the post stitches. Two single crochets, four back post doubles, one, two, three, four, five single crochets, two back post doubles, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets on this end. That's a lot. So we're going to have to really be careful that we're following um, our stitch chart as we go across. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Start with the chain, and then we're going to single crochet in the first seven stitches. Okay, I've just finished my seven stitches. Do notice that we do have a single crochet here. We're gonna leave unworked, and we're gonna do a back post double crochet in the next two post stitches from the other side, okay? And as we, uh, as I've said before, when you do these two post stitches, skip two stitches, one, two, on the row that you're working on there so that we don't duplicate stitches. And now we're going to work one, two, three, four, five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five single crochets. Now we're going to do four back post double crochets. And these again are in the post stitches. One, two, three, Four. After those four post stitches, one, two, three, four, we single crochet in the next two stitches. After those two single crochets, I want you to look back here. We're going to work back post um, double crochets around these two back post stitches here. I know this is getting complicated. I'm actually having to stop and double check uh, my instructions as I go. Okay, so we do two back post double crochets. Okay, after that, um, let's go ahead and skip one, two stitches here to make up for these two stitches that we just crocheted. And we're going to crochet four single crochets. This is should be about the center of where the trees meet. Okay, so we have those four single crochets. Now we're going to do two back post double crochets again not working in these two stitches go ahead and do the next 
two back post doubles in those post stitches. Okay, we're going to skip these two stitches and then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches like that. And then back post in the next four stitches, back post, double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Now we get to the next stitches, but let's make sure that we don't work stitches that have already been worked. So let's go ahead and skip one, two, three, four for those four back posts. And then we're going to single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. After we do that, we have two back post double crochets for these two stitches. The two, let me show you the two post stitches. Actually, we just crocheted in the in the top of one of them. And we're going to do back post double crochets. One, two. Okay. After that, we should have seven stitches to crochet in to the stitch marker. Let's see what we have here. Let's count back from the stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just to show you how we are going to skip this one, actually skip these two. One, two just to show you how that works. So we crochet single crochets into the next seven stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like from the back side. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to flip it for you and get the hook out, show you how this is developing on the front side. Okay, so this is not really a time to worry about, you know, blocking or anything like that. We're going to worry all about that once we complete this uh, project. All right, so go ahead and repeat that two more times across row number 24. Let's take a look at row 25. Again, front side facing with the red. Um, starting reading this from right to left. Okay, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets, two front post double connecting in to these. Let me reveal a little bit down here. Connecting in to the two front post stitches here, and one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets, followed by four front post double crochets, two single crochets two front post doubles connecting into those front post stitches right there, and then four single crochets, two front post doubles connecting into these two front post stitches, two single crochets, four front post doubles connecting into these, and then one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets, two front post double crochets, again connecting into the previous um, stitches or post stitches of the other row and one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets. So it's starting to become, you know, pretty straightforward. Uh, let's go ahead and work row 25. Start row 25 with a chain one and a single crochet in the first six stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. After that, we're going to do two front post trebles, I'm sorry, two front post doubles connecting into these two post stitches. Everything is going to be front post doubles unless you're going a couple rows down below. I'm going to skip two stitches back behind here so we keep our stitch count accurate. And now we're going to work one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After that, four front post double crochets. One, two, three, four. Followed by 
two single crochets. Now let's go ahead and count the stitches behind the post so we don't use those accidentally. One, two, three, four. We'll skip those. And then two single crochets. And then two front post double crochets. One, two. And let's go ahead and skip one, two stitches behind them so we don't double dip there. And then four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And that's through the middle section. Now to work on the other tree, two front post double crochets. One, two, and skip one, two stitches behind. Can, can you see that? I know it's hard with the high contrast here with the dark and the light, but go ahead, two single crochets, and then we're gonna work four front post double, one, two, three, and four. After that, we're gonna do six single crochet. Make sure we skip one, two, three, four, back here for those post stitches. Six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and that sixth one is going to be in the top of that post stitch, but that's okay. And now we're gonna do two post stitches around the post. Okay, so one around each one. Front post double crochets. And we're gonna skip one, two, stitches back behind and we're going to crochet six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that brings us to the stitch marker which begins our next, our next repetition of this. So let's just take a look at where you should be on this. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that two more times across the row. Okay, let's now take a look at row 26. This is with the back side facing. I'm going to read this from left to right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets, two back post double crochets connecting in to the, I'm going to go ahead and reveal a little bit of the previous row. Um, these do connect up to the previous post stitches. And then one, two, three, four, five single crochets, two back post, double crochets, connecting in with these post stitches, a single crochet, two more back post, double crochets, and then one, two, three single crochets, two back post doubles, again, connecting into these post stitches, two single crochets, try not to get confused, this is uh, row 27, we'll get to that in a bit, two single crochets, two more back post, double crochets, three singles, single crochets, one, two back post double crochets, a single crochet, two more back post doubles, again, all connecting into post stitches, and one, two, three, four, five single crochets, two back post doubles, and one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets finishes out this section. So let's go ahead and try to crochet row, uh, row 26. We start with the chain one, and we're gonna single crochet in the first six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, after that we're going to do two back post double crochets, again connecting to the back to the post stitches. After those two back post stitches, we're going to skip one, two stitches behind or yeah, behind those stitches, which are actually in front from our view, but you know what I mean. And then we're going to single crochet in the next one, two, three, four, five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, after that, we're going to do two more back post double crochets. We're going to have to kind of reach over there and grab them. Okay, skip one, two stitches for those back post doubles and single crochet in one stitch and then we're going to do two more 
back post, double crochets, again over post stitches, and then let's see, skip those two stitches for those post stitches, and then three single crochets, and then after that, two post back post stitches, one, two. The first post stitch was actually worked in the same stitch where I worked in the top. Okay, so we're going to skip one, two stitches for that. Now, after we do that, let me just see where I am. Okay, we're going to do two. Let's see how many we do. We work three there. So we're going to do two single crochets. After that, that's actually the center where the two trees are crossing. Now we're going to do two back post double crochets, one, two, followed by three single crochets. Let's go ahead and skip one, two stitches for these back posts, and then three single crochets, one, two, three, two back post double crochets, skip one, two stitches there, a single crochet, and then the two back post double crochets again. Again, this one is double dipping. This is the one where we work the single crochet in the top, and then we work around the post for that next back post. We have those two back posts. Let's go ahead and skip one, two stitches there, and then we're going to work five, one, two, three, four, five single crochet. I'm having to follow this um, stitch guide very, very co closely. One, two, three, four, five. And then two back post doubles. One, two. And we skip one, two. And then we should have, let's see, one, two, three, six stitches. One, two, three, four five and six. So it did work out. So I'm going to go ahead and move my stitch marker and then I'm going to show you what it should look like with the front side facing. Okay, this is fixing to get really intricate as we keep going here. The next row, these two are actually going to cross. So, but not this row, we're going to hold off on another row. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that two more times across row number 26. Okay, let's take a look at row 27. This is with the front side facing and we're reading the red letters, okay? Chain one and one, two, three, four, five single crochets. And I'm going to reveal a little bit of row 26 so that you see where these are connecting in. Two front post double crochets connecting into the post stitches here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets, two front post, one single crochet, two more front post double crochets, and then one, two, three, four single crochets. Now this is where it gets a little interesting. We're going to be using treble crochets here, and we're going to do, um, after these four single crochets, we're going to do two front post trebles, crossing these two post stitches over here, and then we're going to work two front post treble crochets coming over and getting these two. So you're going to be forming, we're going to be forming like a Celtic weave uh, cross here with these um, four, uh, two front post trebles and then two front post trebles, okay? And then four single crochets, two front post, back to double crochets, single crochet, two front post doubles, one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets, two front post doubles, and then five single crochets. We begin row 27 with a single crochet, and we're going to crochet one, two, three, four, five, okay, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. 
Now we're going to do two front post double crochets. One, two. Remember, skip one, two stitches back here so that we know where to insert our hook for the next single crochet. And then we're going to work one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm reading the chart as I count. Six single crochets. That's four, five, and six. After that, we're going to do two front post double crochets. One, two. Make sure we get all the strands there. And then skip those two back here. One, two. Single crochet. You should be working in that single crochet from the previous row. And then two more front post double crochets. And then we're going to work four single crochets. Make sure we skip these two back here. One, two, and four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now this is where it's going to get a little interesting. Okay, this is where we're going to go visual for a second and not worry about counting stitches. Okay, we're going to wrap our hook to get ready for that front post treble and we're going to do, we're not going to do these, we're going to do these two stitches first over here. That's one and two. And then after we do that, we're going to work in front of these and we're going to do front post trebles in these two stitches way over here. It feels like a reach, and I guess because it is, but it'll all work out. Make sure you're doing treble crochets and not double crochets for this section. Okay, so that's the first, uh, I guess you could say crossing of the trees there. Okay, so now the key is where to put our stitches in. So we've done four stitches total. So if you go back on this row, let's skip the four stitches that have not been used. One, two, three, four. This is really, really important. So our next stitch is going to go here, and we're going to work four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. I want to make sure that you you see that. Okay, so when you're working back here, let me just kind of review that. And I'm going to uh, see where my pointer go right here. I just want to make sure that you're skipping one, two, three, four stitches after doing that cross because otherwise it, it's really confusing as to where you put your hook next and that's kind of critical that you put it in the right place. Okay, after that, we're going to do front post double crochets in the next two stitches, a single crochet in the next stitch, so we skip those two in the back, okay, and single crochet in the next stitch, and then two more front post double crochets, and now we, we're going to work six, okay, skip these two, and then six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and six. After that, we are almost home free here. Two more front post double crochets. Make sure we skip one, two stitches back there, two unused stitches, and then we're going to single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. And so our stitch count did turn out. Let's go ahead and take a look at how your trees should look at this point. Okay, so this is what we have for row number 27. So go ahead and repeat that two more times across the row. Okay, now we're ready to begin row 28 right here. Okay, now we are going to read this from left to right. This is with the backside facing. We're going to have five single crochets, two back post double crochets connecting in. I'll reveal a um, little bit of row 27. Uh, so they connect, in to connect into row 27 at the post stitches. And then one, two, three, four, five single crochets, 
two back post doubles connecting into the post, two single crochets, two back post double crochets, four single crochets, and then the four back post double crochets are going to connect into those four stitches that crossed. It'll be a lot easier to do once I show you how to do this. This looks really hard. It's really not. You just go each stitch, four stitches, one after the other with the back back post double crochets, four single crochets, two back post double, two single crochets, two back post double, and one, two, three, four, five single crochets, two back post doubles. Again, all these post stitches are connecting into post stitches of the previous row, and then five single crochets. So let's go ahead and work on row 28. Okay, backside facing, chain one. We're going to single crochet in the first five stitches. And that's five. Let's verify. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do two back post double crochets around those post stitches. And now we're going to do one, two, three, okay, five single crochets. Make sure we skip these two stitches here for the post stitches we just worked. And five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And after that, we're going to do two back post double crochets. One, let's make sure we pull them all through and two. Let's skip two stitches here. And now we're going to work two single crochets and then two back post doubles. And now we're going to work four single crochets. Make sure we skip these two stitches for those post stitches. Four single, one, two, three, Four. And now we're going to do those four. Remember I told you this was going to be easy? Just four post stitches just as they as they appear. One, two, you may have to go searching for that one a little bit. Three and four over that center portion. And then we skip one, two, three, four stitches for those back post stitches, and then four single crochets, and then two more back post double crochets, followed by, make sure we skip these two, two single crochets, two more back post doubles. Make sure you grab those post stitches. Don't work those in single crochets, but only in the back post. We're going to skip two more stitches. One, two. After that. And we're going to do the next five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Two back post doubles. One, two, and skip those two stitches here. One, two, so we don't double dip. And five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and remember the last stitch is where the stitch marker is with the back side facing. Five, and let's take a look and see how this is turning out. Okay, so this is what the 48 stitch section should look like. Very nice, huh? Alright, so now you need to repeat that two more times to complete row 28. Now we're ready to look at row 29. This is going to start from the right, reading to the left, front side facing. Chain one, five single crochets, two front post double crochets. Again, connecting into the post stitches. All of them are going to be like that, so I'll just say that out front so I'm not saying it throughout. Then one, two, three, four, five single crochets. 
two front post double crochets, three single crochets, two front post doubles, three single crochets, four front post double crochets, three single crochets, two front post doubles, three singles, two front post doubles, one, two, three, four, five single crochets, two front post doubles, and five single crochets. Let's go ahead and crochet row 29. So we'll begin with a chain one and then a single crochet in the first five stitches. It's one, two, three, four, and five. After that, we're going to do two front post double crochets. One, two, and I'm going to skip these two behind, and then single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to do two front post double crochets. Well, let's try that one again. One, and two. Skip two stitches. Now we're going to work three single crochets. I almost need a stitch marker. I'm going to place a little stitch marker on my uh, chart here too so that I can read it as I go. And then two front post double crochets. And now we're going to work, um, we're going to skip two, one, two stitches there, and then three single crochets. After that we have four front post double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Um, now we're going to do three. And make sure we skip four stitches back here. One, two, three, four, and then three single crochets, two front post double crochets, skipping two behind, and then we're going to do three more single crochets. One, two, three. I'm going to do two front post doubles again. Now we have five single crochets. Make sure we skip these two back here. One, two, three, four, and five, and two front post double crochets, and five stitches again, skipping these two. I know that's redundant, but if you don't do it, you're going to have a stitch count problem. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's take a look at where your trees are going. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that two more times across the row. Now we're ready to begin row 30. Let's take a look at the chart. We're going to be working with the backside facing and reading from left to right. We have a chain one, one, two, three, four single crochets, a front, I'm sorry, a back post double crochet, two single crochets, a back post double crochet. Again, just notice this, there's just one in each of these. Then a four single crochets, back post, two back post double crochets, three single crochets, two back post doubles, two singles, two back post double crochets, two single crochets, two back post doubles, two single crochets, two back post double crochets, three single crochets, two back post doubles, four single crochets, one back post double, two single crochets, one back post double, and four single crochets. And do take note that all of these post stitches 
do connect in to post stitches of the previous row. Okay, so let's go ahead and work row number 30. We begin row 30 with a chain one, and we're going to single crochet in the first four stitches. Okay, after we've done that, we are going to work a back post double crochet in that next post stitch. We're going to skip a stitch for the back post that we just worked. Single crochet in the next two stitches. And now we're going to work a back post double crochet in that other back post double crochet. Okay skip a stitch for this stitch and then work single crochet in the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four. After those four single crochet, we work back post double in the next two stitches. Now we're going to work three single crochets. Remember to skip two stitches for those post stitches. Three single crochets, one in each of the next three stitches, and then two back post double crochet. Skip these two, two single crochet, and two more back post. Oops, I should get all the threads. Two back post double crochets. We skip these two, single crochet, and the next two stitches. After those two single crochets, we're going to do two more back post double crochets. Skip two stitches, two more single crochets, two more back post double crochets, skip two behind those. Now we're going to do three single crochets. We're getting there guys, ladies, two back post double crochets. Now we're going to do skip two, we're going to do four single crochets. Now we're going to do a single, just one back post double crochet. Skip a stitch for that. One single crochet, actually two single crochets, sorry about that. Two single crochets and then that other lone back post double crochet. Let's skip a stitch for that and then we're going to crochet four to finish out this section. That was a lot of stopping and going on that, but um, also just wanted to show you I've actually tied in my third scan of yarn, so I'm on um, scan number three. Well, let's go ahead and see what we are creating on the other side. So you see these limbs are starting to thin out a little bit here and here. Okay, so that is your 48 stitch repeat. So go ahead and repeat that two more times across row 30. And actually, I'm going to end this video here. Um, so I will see you to continue on starting with um, row 31 in video number three. God bless. Bye-bye.